Yes, good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. good morning. Okay, in the last class, uh, we have discussed about uh, quadrature phase shift keying, right? So, in QPSK, as I said, uh, uh, two bits of information is uh, conveyed with one phase. So, totally, there are uh, four states, okay, means uh, with uh, two bits, that is 1, 1 will be converted with 45 degree, then 0, 1, 135 degree, 0, 0, uh, 225 degree, and 1, 0 will be 315 degree, like the four phase shifts of the carrier, okay, by changing the four phases of the carrier, we will be able to convey two uh, bits of information. And even that angle may be 0 degree, 90 degree, 180 degree, and even 270 degree also. Okay, so what uh, we have observed in QPSK is uh, Yeah, shall I keep full screen? Or is it okay? Yes, sir. It is a little blur, sir. It is a little blur, no? Shall I keep? Yeah, no, is it okay? Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, uh, you, if we consider the signal space diagram of uh, UPSK, right? So, there are four message points, right? 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, and 1, 0. So here, this arrow, what I've shown, is the switching of the information bit from 1, 1 to 0, 1, or 0, 1 to 0, 0, or 0, 0 to 1, 0, or maybe 1, 0 to 1, 1. So when it switches from 1, 1 to 0, 1, or from 0, 1 to 0, 0, or from 0, 0 to 1, 0, or from uh, 0, 1 to 1, 1, so the change in phase shift is 90 degree okay so here all the uh, possible values of change in phase shift are uh, shown okay even when the uh, three things are not to be noted here so first one is when the in phase and quadrature component of the bit stream changes both okay that is from 1 1 to 0 0 so now from 1 1 to 0 0 the change in phase shift is uh, it is 180 degree, not 90 degree. I hope you understand what I'm saying. When the bit stream uh, changes, okay, that is the in phase component and as well as the potential component. Uh, say for example, what I am, what I said is 1 1 to 0 0. So the change in phase shift is plus or minus 180 degree. Okay, similarly, from uh, 0 1 to 1 0. During this time also, the change in phase shift is 180 degree because from year to year 90 degree, from year to year another 90 degree. So total 180 degree. Okay. So here uh, to note down means uh, the observations made is when both the in phase and quadrature components bit stream changes, the change in phase shift is plus or minus 180 degree. Uh, second point is when the only either in phase component or the quadrature component bit stream changes during that time the change in phase shift of the carrier is only plus or minus 90 degree okay and uh, uh, when there is no change in the bit stream okay means same bit if i transmit 10 to 10 only then there will be no change in the phase shift so this uh, change in phase shift of uh, plus or minus 180 degree leads to uh, fluctuate in the amplitude of the QPSK signal. Okay, that fluctuations, but actually the, in QPSK, the amplitude of the modulated signal should be kept constant. Only the phase should vary. Okay, but what happens is during this uh, both uh, in phase and quadrature components uh, of the bit stream changes, when it undergoes 180 degree phase shift, there will be variation in the, or fluctuations in the amplitude of the modulated signal. So that fluctuation, 
leads in the receiver uh, error. Okay, so that is the drawback of UPSK. Okay, to overcome that drawback, so we go for offset QPSK. So offset means delay. Okay, in uh, offset QPSK, what we do is the bit stream, which is uh, responsible for generating the quotation component, is delayed by half the symbol interval. Okay, is delayed by half the symbol uh, interval with respect to the bit stream responsible for generating the in phase component. So by doing so, in case of OQPSK, the phase transition is only confined to plus or minus 90 degree. So which is shown here in the diagram B. Okay. So here phase uh, transition happens only uh, plus or minus 90 degree, not plus or minus 20 degree. Means there is no change in the bit stream from means both in phase and quadrature component will not change simultaneously. Only one any one will change. So with that, uh, the phase transition is only plus or minus 90 degree. So to have better understanding, let me take one example. Uh, this is what I have taken here. Uh, so here, what I said, uh, so what happens to the phase at intervals of 2T in QPSK, right? So these are the possible phase shifts, what I said. So for 1, 1, okay, for symbol 1, 1, the phase shift is pi by 4. Okay, for uh, here, I have taken minus 1. Minus 1 is nothing but 0. Okay, so for 0, 1, it is 3 by 3 pi by 4. And for 0, 0, it is 5 pi by 4. And for 1, 0, it is 7 pi by 4. That is 45 degree, 135 degree, uh, 225 degree, and uh, 315 degree. This is what I have considered in the um, QPSK, right? So same thing, I have considered here the bit stream. So please note here, minus 1 is nothing but 0. So this is what my bit stream, 1, 1. 0, 0, 0, triple 1. You can consider like that, right? So if I so that split that into in phase and quadrature components, you are an odd stream. So what I get, see, one is the in phase component, next bit is quadrature component, like in phase quadrature, in phase quadrature, I've written here, right? So from 1 to 1, the uh, phase, shift, phase shift is pi by 4, right? So that is 0, 0, it is 5 pi by 4. 0, 1, it is 3 pi by 4, and 1, 1, it is pi by 4, right? So between, means here, see, 1, 1, in phase and quadrature is 1, 1. Uh, next bit is what? Minus 1, minus 1, means that is 0, 0. So when uh, the bit stream changes of both in phase and quadrature component from 1, 1 to 0, 0, so during that time, the change in phase shift will be 180 degree. Okay, the change in phase shift will be 180 degree. Similarly, uh, when it changes from 0, 0 to 0, 1, that is 5 pi by 4 to 3 pi by 4, the change in phase shift is 90 degree. Okay. Then from 0, 1 to 1, 1, the change in phase shift is minus 90 degree. Right. This is what happened in uh, QPSK. I said uh, the problem is when both the in phase and quadrature components in QPSK uh, changes, the bit stream of in phase and quadrature phase component changes, then there will be a change in the carrier phase by plus or minus 180 degree. Right? That leads to what I said, uh, there will be a fluctuations in the amplitude of the QPSK modulated signal. That leads to uh, error in the detection. Okay, So to overcome that, we sa I said we go for OQPSK. Uh, just have rewritten the QPSK waveform, uh, what I have discussed yesterday. Uh, just to say here, see, it is from 0, 1 to 1, 0. Okay. So 0, 1 to 1, 0, only one bit change, right? Right. 0 is 1 and 1 and 0, right? 0, 1 to 1, 0. Means here, both in phase and quadrature phase components, both will change. So during that time, here there is a phase change, okay, of 180 degree. So this uh, starts with uh, 315 and ends with 315, right? And here it starts with 135. So from 315 to 135, the phase change will be 180 degree. Okay, then next you see divert 10 to 10. So same thing is transmitted. So here there is no change in the phase shift of the carrier. Then from 10 to 00, means only one bit is changing. Only the in-phase bit is changing. So here the phase change will be uh, 90 degree. <coughs> Sorry.
So this is what I've written here. The observations made from QPS waveform. So what I said, three things. One is the carrier phase changes by plus or minus 180 degree whenever both the in phase and the quadrature components of the QPS signal change the sign. So which I considered in the previous example that when the input binary sequence switches from diabet 01 to diabet 10. So during that time, there is a change in phase shift of 180 degree. Similarly, the second point is the carrier phase changes by plus or minus 90 degree whenever the in phase or quadrature components changes sign. Means only one bit change. So during that time, uh, that is the input binary sequence switches from diabet 10 to diabet 00. So during that time, the change in phase shift is only plus or minus 90 degrees. The third thing is the carrier phase will not change when neither the in phase component nor the quadrature component changes the sign. So that we have considered when 1010, that is with the previous this one for this case 1010. So there is no change. So there will be no change in the carrier phase. So what I said, the change of 180 degree and 90 degree shifts in the carrier results in change in the carrier amplitude. That is the envelope of the QPS signal changes during the transmission. That leads to additional symbol errors in the, on the detection at the receiver. Okay. So this is the drawback of QPS, what I can say. To mitigate this uh, drawback, we go for OQPS. So what we do in OQPS is we have to reduce the uh, extent of amplitude fluctuations, right? So how do we do that? So we do that by uh, delaying the bit stream, which is responsible for generating the quadrature component by half the symbol interval with respect to the bit stream responsible for generating the in phase component. Okay. By doing so, we will be able to avoid that problem. Okay. In that case, the phase transitions occurs only uh, plus or minus 90 degree in the OQPS case. I think I have written with the diagram. This is the OQPSK modulator diagram. Okay, so the incoming data, which is what NRZ, right? Then the serial to parallel, so E1 and R data. I said E1 data will be delayed by half the symbol duration. See, 2T is the uh, one symbol duration, and then half is T. Okay, so the quadrature component is delayed by half of the symbol duration. Then rest is uh, product modulator, then it will be added to get the OQPS waveform. So you can have a note of this block diagram of OQPS. So here the uh, basis functions, okay, pi 1 of t and pi 2 of t. So what we can write is pi 1 of t uh, will be root of 2 by t, okay, uh, cos uh, it since it is delayed uh, 2 pi fct uh, return uh, f instead of fc as f naught and here it is sine so another one is root of 2 by t sine 2 pi fct okay so this interval is from 0 to t and this one is from t by 2 to 3 t by 2 so in oqpsk the quadrature component bit stream is delayed by half the symbol interval okay. with respect to the bit uh, stream uh, responsible for generating the in phase component. So, this is uh, one more slide where we can take up one step ahead for uh, understanding the. Uh, transition of phase in the OQPSK. So here again, please consider uh, this minus one is nothing but zero. So this is one bit stream. Okay, that is one one. Uh, I think two zeros. Then again two zeros. Then one one. So this is uh, lower one is another bit stream. That is one one uh, zero zero one one then one one. So between uh, this stream and this bit stream, there is a delay of uh, half the symbol durations. Right, it starts from minus t and this starts from zero. So there is a delay of uh, t uh, seconds, right? So here, so is written. So at one, 
means at one means at this point okay at this point the symbols are what one one okay symbols are one one and uh, uh, zero one next one is zero one right means uh, one one and then zero one okay so during that time the phase change is uh, plus or minus 90 degree at two means at this point okay it is uh, zero one the symbols are minus one one means it is zero one and then zero zero and both the bits are zero zero so during that time the phase change is also plus or minus 90 degree okay at three means at this point right the symbols are so this one is a uh, upper bit stream is zero zero and then lower bit stream is zero one okay at three this is zero next is one right so zero one in that time the phase change is plus or minus 90 degree so i hope you got this idea so this is one bit stream upper one and the second another bit stream okay so here consider minus one as zero okay so between this bit stream and this bit stream there is a delay of uh, t seconds right yes sir i hope uh, you got this point so minus one is nothing but zero in my case okay yes sir so please have a note of these two sequences and write this duration also and with respect to that how uh, we say it is 90 degree and zero degree phase change <laughs> so i can say with that uh, the offset QPS case over. So let us consider uh, next is MRI modulation techniques. So what happens in binary data transmission? We send only one of the two possible signals during each bit interval. Say for example, in case of BPSK, that is a binary phase shift keying. Okay, for one bit interval, either zero or one. Uh, that will be carried with one phase information, either zero degree or 180 degree or plus 90 degree or minus 90 degree, right? So in case of MRA data transmission, okay? so we send one of the M possible signals during each signaling interval, T. Okay? So QPSK is one form of MRA modulation technique, what I can say, because there we are sending two bits with one phase information, right? So there are four, uh, uh, possible states right so zero 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 one one zero and one one so with that four uh, uh, data stream and four uh, uh, phases will be conveyed okay with four phases those four data streams will be conveyed so in that way i can say in almost all applications what we can write m is equal to two power n okay so where n is the uh, number of bits small n is the number of bits this capital m is is what we say is mra so for QPSK, the value of small n is 2. So 2 power 2 is 4. So the number of uh, data data will be 4 bits. Means uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. And the symbol duration will be equal to n into TB. Okay. Means here in case of uh, uh, QPSK, what I said, the value of n is 2. So symbol duration will be equal to 2 TB. Right. So each of the M signals we call it as a symbol. So these signals are generated by changing, either we can change here also amplitude, phase frequency, or the combination of that. Right? Accordingly, we can call it MRA amplitude shift king, then MRA phase shift king, MRA uh, frequency shift king, and MRA potential amplitude modulation. So in case of MRA amplitude shift king, the amplitude of the uh, carrier will change according to the number of data streams. And in case of MRA PSK, according to the data stream, the phase will change. In frequency, frequency will change. In QAM, both amplitude and as well as phase will change. Okay. So let us consider what MPSK is. Already, as I said, QPSK is nothing but MRA modulation technique with the value of M equal to 4 and the value of small n is equal to 2. Uh, this is what the generalized expression for writing the uh, MRA PSK modulated signal. So we can consider the uh, phase of the carrier. 
phase of the carrier takes on one of the m possible values, right? So I can say theta m that is small m is equal to two pi of m minus one by capital M, where the value of small m can vary from one to m. Okay, and uh, this is a modulated signal. Okay, s m of t equal to square root of two e s by t cos of two pi of c t plus two pi of m minus one by capital M, where the value of small m varies from one to m. Okay, in my notebook, I have taken this uh, notation as uh, theta suffix i instead of small m. I have taken it as i. You can change that notation. Okay, you can take it as i also. If you take it as i, then it will be two pi of i minus one by m. And here, what we have to say, where the value of i varies from one to m. So accordingly, wherever small m is there, change that small m to cap small i. And uh, this e s is the energy per symbol. Okay, and these are the two basis functions. What we can say here. So pi one of t is root of two by t cos of two pi of c t, and pi two of t is equal to root of two by t sine two pi of c t, and with the symbol interval zero to t. Okay, so this is important here. How do we represent m array uh, PSK signal? Okay, as I said, you can take the suffix small m as i also. If I take that as i. So S i of t is equal to what I can write square root of two e s by t cos of two pi of c t plus two pi of i minus one by capital M, where the value of small i varies from one to m. In case of QPSK, the value of m was four. Okay. Uh, so, in the same way, what I have done in QPS case, it is expanded as cos of a plus b, no, as cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. So, same thing applied here because it is in that form, and we have segregated that as uh, two basis functions one is pi 1 of t in something and pi 2 of t into sin of something, right? So, this I told yesterday, expanding the equation which is there in the form of cos of a plus b. As cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. Okay, and expressing the modulated signal in terms of the basis function. And then we say what is the signal vector. And just to uh, show how the signal uh, translation diagram varies from uh, each of the modulation technique, that is from BPSK to 16 PSK, I have taken. In case of BPSK, the value of m is 2, right? So this is a signal point 1 and signal point 2. This is my decision boundary, right? And in case of uh, in case of QPSK, uh, this is the decision boundary, right? And in case of 8 PSK. So this 8 PSK here, see the value of m is 8, means m equal to 2 power n, the value of small n is 3, so 2 power 3 is 8. So uh, means each is corresponds to 3 bits, okay. that is from all 0 to all 3 zeros to all 3 ones, so 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1, totally 8 message points with 8 different phases we can convert. And here it is m equal to 16, that is m equal to 2 power n, where the value of small n is equal to 4. So, <coughs> all four zeros to all four ones, that is the 16 PSK. And uh, this is the formula for uh, writing the Euclidean distance. And we know how this Euclidean distance plays a role in determining the performance of the uh, modulated signal. Okay, so the I think uh, for this the minimum Euclidean distance is 2 into root of ps sine of pi by m. Okay. So we can uh, approximate the symbol average symbol error probability for MRA PSK as this. This is the average probability of symbol error for MRA PSK, which is equal to 2 q d minimum by 2 root of n naught by 2. So, which is nothing but you can write 2 q of root of 2s by n naught into sine of pi by m. 
So this is the expression for average probability of symbol error. Yeah, this is the diagram which shows the sigma space diagram for 8 PSK. Okay. So here, um, I think, is it clear? This diagram, is it clear? Yes, sir. So here the pi 1 and pi 2 axis, right? So root of e on uh, pi 1 and pi 2, then this side minus root of e minus root of e. So totally, there are eight message points starting from this m1, m2, m3, m4, m5, m6, m7, and m8. Okay. So totally eight message points starting from 3 means 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1. Okay. And uh, uh, this is the diagram which shows how uh, the decision boundaries are set. Okay. So that is sine of pi by m. And uh, this is the diagram which shows the power spectra of uh, MRA PSK with uh, M equal to 2, 4, and 8. I mean, M equal to 2 is BPSK, M equal to 4 is QPSK, and M equal to 8 is nothing but 8 PSK. So, what we observe here is see, this is for one sided spectra only, it is okay. This is a power spectra of uh, MRA PSK modulated signal. Uh, see, as the value of M increases, as the value of M increases, uh, the bandwidth uh, means the spectra band reduces, right? Means with that, what we can say the bandwidth efficiency increases. Okay, so when M equal to 2, the spectra of uh, this MRA, means this is a BPSK, right? So the band is so wide, right? When M is 4, it has been reduced to a certain extent. Then when M is 8, has been reduced further. Right? So as the value of M increases, okay, what we can say is the bandwidth efficiency increases. Means utilization of the uh, bandwidth will be more proper. And uh, <coughs> this is a few equations which we are to be familiar with this uh, MRA PSK. And uh, we can write uh, the symbol duration of MRA PSK as the symbol duration is the model T, T, right? So capital T is equal to TB log M with base 2. So TB is the bit duration. TB is the bit duration. And M is what I said, M equal to 2 power M. Right? So that is number of uh, states. Okay. And uh, the channel bandwidth required to pass MRA PSK signal to an analog channel can be written as so B equal to 2 by T, where T is the symbol duration, right? So this is the channel bandwidth required to uh, pass MRA PSK signal, which is equal to 2 by T. And we know the bit rate is equal to RB, which is equal to 1 by TB. So we can express the channel bandwidth in terms of the bit rate. So channel bandwidth, what I said, it is 2 by symbol duration. So and uh, if I substitute uh, T as uh, TB log M with base 2 uh, in this uh, equation. So 2 by TB log M with base 2 it becomes. So 1 by TB is nothing but RB. So I can write 2 RB divided by log M with base 2. Okay, I hope this equation 4 is clear. So I have written the symbol duration for MRA PSK as T, T is equal to TB log M with base 2. Right? And the channel bandwidth required to pass MRA PSK signal can be written as B is equal to 2 by the symbol duration. And we know that the bit rate can be expressed as that is RB which is equal to 1 by TB. Okay. If I substitute the value of symbol duration in equation 2, I can write uh, I can write uh, B that is the channel bandwidth. Uh, in terms of uh, bit rate as what uh, 2 by uh, TB log M with base 2. So 1 by TB is nothing but I said RB. That is why I am writing 2 RB divided by log M with base 2. Okay. So this is the expression for channel bandwidth in terms of bit rate for MRA PSK. 
and uh, the bandwidth efficiency as i said for mrf psk is denoted as rho so which is equal to the bit rate divided by the bandwidth okay so if i substitute the value of uh, uh, b in this expression right so i will be getting the expression for bandwidth efficiency as log m with base 2 divided by 2 log m with base 2 divided by 2 okay so here i have given a table which shows uh, for different values of m what is the bandwidth efficiency the bandwidth efficiency is <coughs> in bits per second per hertz right so when the value of m is 2 i get an spectral efficiency or bandwidth efficiency what we can say is 0.5 so when the value of m is 4 i get a spectral efficiency of 1 right so at when m is 8 i get a bandwidth efficiency of 1.5 right when it is 16 it is 2 when it is 32 i get 2.5 and when it is 64 it is 3 so as the value of m increases the bandwidth efficiency also increases so this is what I can conclude about MRA PSK signal. So the important thing is here to note down, you have to note down, you should know what is the expression for symbol duration. So these equations are important. So P is equal to TB log M with base 2. As I said, TB is the bit duration, right? And uh, we can write the expression for bandwidth as B equal to 2 by the symbol duration. Okay. And I, I know the bitrate as 1 by TB. I can express the channel bandwidth in terms of bitrate as 2RB by log M at base 2. And uh, with that, the expression for bandwidth efficiency is this. RB is the bitrate divided by bandwidth. Right? And if I substitute the value of B, I will be getting the expression for bandwidth efficiency as log M at base 2 by 2. So there maybe chances of asking some numericals on this means they may give you the bit rate they will give you the value of m or the they will give the value of small m then you can calculate the value of capital m then they may ask you to find out the bandwidth efficiency okay so i hope is it clear what i convey as the value of m increases okay the bandwidth efficiency also increases so if you have any Doubts you can ask me. Hello, uh, sir. So, this is just a general case of uh, that UPSK that we discussed earlier, no, sir. Yeah, so using uh, MPSK also, we can uh, yeah. derive the QPSK. Uh, yeah, uh, I didn't get you. Sir, uh, using MPSK also, can we derive that QPSK signal? Using uh, QPSK? No, using MPSK. Okay. Can we derive QPSK values also, sir? Uh, it was not clear. Can you check me? Uh, So this is the generalized expression for any MRA PSK signal bandwidth efficiency and as well as the expression for bandwidth. So this is the generalized expression for MRA PSK. So the value of M can be anything from 2 to any value. Okay, you are asking, uh, it means that we can derive the values for QPSK or any other PSK also. Yeah, you can. You can.
So just as a quick uh, uh, recap, what we have discussed so far is I started with uh, the problems observed in the QPSK, right? So I said uh, in QPSK, uh, whenever the bit stream of in phase and quadrature components both changes, I said uh, the carrier phase undergoes a phase change of plus or minus 180 degree, right? And uh, whenever only the one bit stream, either the in phase component or the quadrature component changes, there will be a change in the phase shift of plus or minus 90 degree, right? So this plus or minus 180 degree phase change in QPSK leads to change in the uh, amplitude fluctuations in the modulated signal. Okay, that leads to error in the detection at the receiver side. So to overcome that problem, so this is the drawback of QPSK, what I can say. So to overcome that problem, we go for OQPSK, that is offset QPSK. So what we do in OQPSK, we delay the uh, bit stream of the quadrature component by half the symbol duration of the symbol duration with respect to the bit stream of the in phase component. So by doing so, we will be able to confine the change in the phase of the carrier only to plus or minus 90 degree. So by doing so, we will be able to avoid the fluctuations in the amplitude of the modulated signal. So with that, I say this QPSK or OQPSK avoids the problem. Okay. So this is just a recap of why we go for OQPSK and what is the problem in QPSK. And to say what is MRA PSK is, I said in case of uh, uh, binary data transmission, we send only two possible signals during each bit interval, right? But in case of MRA, uh, what I said, uh, it is possible to send M possible signals during each signaling interval. So those M possible signals will be is equal to what? M equal to 2 power N and uh, the T, the symbol duration will be equal to N into TV, right? So here also I can vary the amplitude, phase of frequency according or even both amplitude and phase accordingly I call as MASK, MPSK, MFSK and M Fine. Right? So this is just expression for uh, MRA PSK and uh, let me just have this uh, diagram. Okay, what I said uh, as the value of M increases the bandwidth efficiency of MRA PSK increases, right? So that is uh, seen by the power spectra of this MRA PSK signal. So which is shown here for different values of M, that is M equal to 2, 4, and 8. And uh, this is what the expression for uh, bandwidth efficiency of MRA PSK. So which is equal to what? Log M with base 2 by 2. Okay. So who has not joined for this meeting on 37 were there, now it has 36, one fellow has already exited. Uh, so is there. 